Greetings commanders, my name is Eagle and in today's video we're going to be doing a full comprehensive guide on Catherine. So if you like these types of videos where we will give you officer tips and tricks, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel in addition to maybe ringing the bell so that you can get a sweet notification when we drop a new video on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for your support. And thank you so much for the support on the live stream yesterday as we have done a live stream If you guys haven't seen that yet, it's already uploaded on YouTube. You can check it out I'll leave a card at the top about that So we did a live stream about ghost trebles event. We did a full session of two hours throughout the whole event we actually uh, were able to get the first position in terms of points at the end so that is worth uh, looking for if you guys want to uh, look for some strategies, some guild strategies and tips on how to get the first place in Ghost Travels event. Make sure to check out the stream as we have put out so much. It's, we have covered basically all the things that you need to know about that event and how to actually get the maximum amount of points out of it with your uh, guild members. So moving on to this video right now, what we need to talk about is actually what we're doing right now is that we're doing a series of videos. This series is going to include every single officer in Kiss of War. We're going to be going through extensively their skills and their prioritization. How, when should you stop on which skills should you stop, which skills should you upgrade first? And then after that, we're going to be going through their talent trees and telling you exactly what, uh, which talents should you go for at which levels to maximize the value and potential of that specific officer uh, at that certain level. In addition to that, we're gonna show you guys how to obtain these officers throughout the game and which officers are worth investing in. In addition to uh, telling you which pairings fit best to these officers. So if you are interested in this topic, as I have seen a lot of people requesting these types of videos lately, so we're going to do a full series on that uh, throughout the next two weeks to cover every single officer in Kiss of War. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and let's move on to the video. So in today's video, we're going to be featuring Catherine. Catherine is a tank jungler skill tree officer that specializes in uh, dealing burst damages, like huge damage on the battlefield in addition to uh, invaders, like both in PvP and PvE as well. She is a phenomenal officer. However, she is only obtainable throughout two ways. The first way is actually the VIP packages from VIP package zero through nine. So you'll be able to actually purchase her badges uh, from these uh, VIP packages over here, the exclusive offers. In addition to an event that happened lately, uh, so usually these events happen occasionally throughout the year. Uh, so I'll leave a card at the top if you're interested to know about more of that event. It, it happened, it's called Summer Party. I'm not sure if it will happen again, or and definitely there are more events that are gonna happen again, but I'm not sure if that specific event will happen again so that we can actually obtain more uh, Catherine badges from it. However, um, the, you can easily awaken her if you just simply purchase uh, the VIP packages from zero to nine. But today we're not going to talk about awakening her. We're going to actually talk about how to make her most effective with the least amount of money spent on her. Because, hey, she is a premium officer, right? So technically, free-to-player players won't have access to her unless they have actually uh, got her badges from the uh, event that happened before and were able to unlock her. However, uh, she is a pretty solid officer and now we're going to talk about where to actually invest in her and to which level that I do believe uh, or I recommend to you guys to get her up to uh, in order to maximize her performance in the battlefield without having to buy all the packages in the VIP store. So. Uh, first of all, let's talk about her skills. So her first skill is a burst damage skill that deals a huge damage multiplier in addition to giving you a 50% chance to actually deal another uh, two damage multipliers 
of 600 uh, damage. So this damage multiplier, this, the second one, which is the continuous one, it's pretty solid if you were able to actually um, deal, like if you, if you were lucky enough to uh, deal that damage on the battlefield with a 50% chance. So her first ability is the uh, most important one, which I would 100% recommend maxing it out first, because this is where the uh, burst damage from Catherine comes through, and you would actually be able to deal, uh, or be, uh, like her performance would be significantly more effective on the battlefield. Her second ability, due to the fact that she is a tank officer, her second ability gives tanks a speed increase of 10% in addition to 20% tank attack increase, which I think is as well pretty solid due to the fact that she is a pure tanks officer uh, and you would be only running her with tanks to maximize the effectiveness of this skill over here so that you can actually maximize the attacks of tanks in addition to their speed. So this is this would be my second recommendation to max out her second skill immediately after uh, the first one, of course. The third one gives you an increased damage uh, dealing to invaders by 50%, which I think is pretty solid as well. She is a pretty solid jungler officer, and I've used her in the early game definitely uh, for jungling. Uh, I've actually switched her to the jungler tree uh, a while ago to uh, maximize the damage output for jungling, and we're going to talk about that actually uh, as well in this video and when to actually ha use her as a jungler, purely as a jungler, rather than a tank officer. Because right now, her role in the game, I do believe, is for PvP uh, as a tank officer. However, she can be used as a jungler, and we're gonna show you how in a minute. Lastly, her passive skill, go for, throat, uh, go for the throat, gives you a percentage to actually increase the damage dealt to the target, or increase the damage received from the target uh, by 30%, which I think is pretty solid, especially if you're trying to swarm a, a specific target, because that target will have 30% increased damage receiving from all uh, sources. So this is for the next three seconds, which I think is pretty solid, especially if this skill is triggered right before your active skill is triggered, this way your active skill would deal 30% more damage to that target, which I think is pretty solid, especially if you're trying to, for example, rally a behemoth or even attack a target that is a bit hard to kill. So this would be extremely um, effective. Of course, when you awaken her, you get that sweet 200 damage multiplier plus to the uh, original uh, burst damage and 100 damage multiplier to the continuous damage uh, that is uh, dealt afterwards with a 50% chance, which is pretty solid. Now, awakening Catherine is very recommended. However, let's say you are a low spender and you want to get her, but you don't want, you, you, you still don't know where to actually put her skill points and where to stop. So today I'm going to tell you how to do that and exactly tell you how much money you need to spend on her to make her very effective. So the first two skills are barely basically given. You have to max those two out in order for her to be a very effective tanks officer in addition to having that uh, very solid burst damage over here. So you would la you would want to get her up to 5511 because these two over here like this one is purely for attacking invaders. And even if this one was didn't exist at this point in the game, I would I can simply just run her with an pure invaders officer, like for example Dorothea over here, and she would be easily able to uh, deal uh, more damage and even be more effective versus invaders. However, for this one over here, naturally we're going to show you that this one is going to get up to level two or two points in it, due to the fact that when you buy the VIP. Uh, uh, points or the VIP packages, which we're going to show you right now. So the skills, first of all, you have to go to the first skill, second skill, third skill, and then fourth skill. This is the priority. And what I would recommend is getting those packages over here. So which packages and how much should you actually spend on her? So if you look over here, uh, what you can do in order to get her up, I'm going to show you a graph right now on the left. So what we need to do is actually get her up to, uh, so we need eight points, right? We need eight points to max out these two skills over here. And this means that we need to get her up to first lieutenant, 
uh, rank so that she can actually uh, have those two first skills maxed out. And by that, by saying that, we need 190, um, 190 Catherine badges to actually get her up to that rank. However, if we were to get 190 badges, is basically you will need to go all the way up to VIP 7, get the VIP 7 packages, and all the packages that are uh, below over here. Now, the pricing of these packages over here, from VIP 0 to VIP 3, it's 1 bucks. Here at VIP 4, it's four, uh, it's 5 bucks. And over here, it goes up to... Um, let me check real quick. I do believe this is as well... Five bucks, yeah, this is five bucks as well. VIP six is 10 bucks and VIP seven is 20 bucks. So in total, we're talking about 45 bucks. But hey, if you are not willing to spend 45 bucks in the game just to get one officer up, then that's up to you. But this is my recommendation and definitely uh, real life comes first. If you have like obligations, this is of course, this is just a recommendation of where to actually spend if you were to spend on her just a little bit to get her up to a certain level where she will be very effective. Now, if you get those VIP packages up to package number seven, you would be able to actually get her up to captain rank which requires about 235 uh, badges, and you will have like about 270 badges by then. So technically speaking, you would have one extra point to actually put, and I would put it, of course, on for the throat to actually increase the damage taken from the enemy troops. So this way she would be 5512 uh, in terms of uh, skill uh, levels, and this is very effective and where she can actually be extremely effective in the game. Now, let's talk about her talents, actually. Now, for her talents, this build that I'm running right now is actually not super effective. What I would do if I were to run the build once again, um, I would go immediately, first of all, I would go immediately for advanced tactics over here, which will give me a sweet 6% plus damage to the skill damage that I have. Afterwards, I would go for Burning Rage, like immediately for Burning Rage, and then I would go for the tank over here, max out the whole tank tree, because of course we want her as a tank officer, right? But what I did right over here is gave her the ability to actually uh, get more rage and generate more rage throughout the fight, which is very important uh, right now. And make sure when you are going through the tank tree to always focus, go for swoop down first and then build up the tank march, the counter charge over here, and then go for dead shot over here and then go for the health. This is very important. You need more attack damage uh, because she is a burst um, tank officer. She is not a sustainability officer so you need to max out her damage first so you definitely in the tank tree you, do, you go down to swoop down and then all the way to dead shot and then max it out with tank mastery so make sure that you top off burning rage first and then go and max out the tank tree as followed because this way you would have her as super effective because you would have swoop down over here, which give you recovering more rage throughout the fight, in addition to giving you 10% chance to actually recover 800, 8 rage, 80 rage, sorry, uh, throughout the fight as well, which will make her um, use her active skill more often, which is exactly what you need for this officer. Now, there is an alternative build that you can follow as well. I'm not really sure which build is the best build for her, but if you're running her as a pure tanks officer, then hey, um, one of the, like this build over here, the skill build is actually very debatable and we have to test it out soon. Once I test it out, I will definitely guys show you the results. So I was thinking of actually maxing out the skill tree and then going for the tank tree all the way to dead shot over here. So actually the other way around because simply, um, maxing out these, the, the skill tree would actually give you huge amounts of damage. In addition to additional rage recovery whenever you uh, use your skill. Now, we haven't tested this out because this requires a lot of time to actually test because you need to do like consecutive tests uh, on different types of attacks in the campaign 
in addition to uh, the uh, like the uh, the PVP, so this will require a bit of time. However, we're gonna definitely uh, do that test soon, and we're gonna show you guys the results. We're gonna share it either in the official Discord or in a specific video for this officer later on. So mainly, these are the two talent trees that I recommend highly uh, investing in. I would go for the, uh, however, for the pure tanks tree because of the fact that uh, you're going to be running her purely with tanks. I mean, her skill is pretty solid over here, but I'm not sure if the damage multiplier is enough to actually go for immediately the skill tree and then go for the tank tree. So this is uh, uh, the, the one that I do recommend for you guys. So about her, um, about her skins over here, obviously you guys know that you, we have this sweet skin that have dropped in the uh, update as well, which give you 5% global bonus. I wasn't able to get it back then, um, but yeah, I mean, it is a pretty solid skin if you were able to get it. But this one over here is pretty solid as well, which is giving you 2% tank attack and 5% action point reduction, which is pretty cool too. Now, Talking about her training, you need a hundred, uh, as you saw from the image before, you need a hundred badges to max out her training to all the way to level 20, which I do recommend if you have awakened her and you want to invest more in her because she is a pretty solid officer. And I think that uh, training her up to level 20 is worth uh, the go for sure. <laughs> so mainly uh, right now, the only thing that's left to talk about is her officer pairings. As a burst damage dealer and a tank uh, and a tank specialist, I would pair her with officers like Linda over here, which is my first and best recommendation for her. Uh, with Grace, she actually works pretty fine if you are building Grace up as a tank officer. However, I wouldn't recommend it fully, especially if you have Linda at five stars, twenty. Like if you have this kind of Linda, which which she is at tank and skill over here. At what you need to do is actually increase the rage gain that is uh, uh, Catherine is getting by getting another officer that gives the ta that has the skill talent tree. Therefore, you would maximize uh, the amount of rage generated throughout the fight, and this way. Uh, you would use your skills more often. So pairing her with Linda is a great option. Another great option for the field fights, like PvE fights for invaders, is Dorothea. So Catherine would be uh, the secondary in this case, and Dorothea would be uh, the primary. If you have Dorothea at level, th at level 50, then put Catherine as primary and Dorothea as secondary. And make sure that you're running Dorothea at jungler and support trees. This way, you would maximize the benefits from when you are attacking invaders. And I have tried this before, and it's actually an insane combo. We're going to do a small video about this combo, and we're going to show you how you can not wound a single troop, not lose a single troop for wounded, and only lose troops that are severely wounded in the fight. So this way you would sustain to the maximum when attacking invaders uh, in the field. So this is very important to notice over here, guys. Dorothea is a phenomenal officer, and I think that she is a great pairing with Linda. Now, Natalia over here, as I said, so tank, defense, garrison officers, aren't the best uh, like pairing with um, with Catherine. However, if you if you ha don't have like another option and you want to run a second tank march, then he, he, I mean you could pair her with Catherine for sure. Um, Helene is as well a pretty good um, pairing for PVE, which means invaders. So if you have Helene up to level 50, you can put her up to uh, in the jungler skill tree and pair her up with Catherine. She, uh, the, both of these officers or pairings is a phenomenal uh, pairing versus invaders, and I would definitely recommend them. So uh, which pairing is better? Is it is it actually Catherine with Dorothea or Catherine with Helene? Well, it depends on highly on what exactly your objective is. So if your objective is to deal more damage more frequently, then pair her up with Helene. If your objective is to sustain more in the battlefield and heal more troops throughout the fight, then pair her up with Dorothea. So mainly these are the two pairings uh, that I recommend for PvE, and the pairing that I recommend mostly for PvP is Catherine and Linda. 
So, the, this was a full comprehensive guide about Catherine. If you like this guide and want more guides, please make sure to leave me in the comments below as I love your support, guys, and thank you so much uh, for uh, subscribing and liking the channel lately. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>